but soft. What light through yonder window breaks. It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief that thou her maid art far more fair than she. You're not her maid, since she is envious. Her vestal livery is but sick and green, and none but fools do wear it. Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What's Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot nor arm, nor face, nor any other part. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were she not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which she owes without that title. <laughs> Romeo doth thy name. And for that name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. <laughs> I take another word. I guess I'm not yet drunk a hundred words of thy tongue's utterance, yet I know the sound of it. I thought of Romeo and the Montague. Neither fair saint of either thee dislike. How camest thou hither? Tell me, and wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the place death, considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee. Love's light wings that I will perch these walls. For stony limits cannot hold love out, and what love can do that dares love attempt. And for thy kinsmen are no let to me. If they do see thee, they will murder thee. There lies more peril in thine eye than twenty of their swords. Look thou but sweet, and I am proof against their enmity. I would not for the world they saw thee here. I have night's cloak to hide me from their sight. But they'll love me. Let them find me here. My life were better ended by their hate than death broken. Haunting of thy love. I know that wilt say I, and I will take thy word. Yet if thou swearest, thou mayst prove false. At lovers' perjuries they say Jove laughs. O oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Oh, lady, by yonder blessed moon I swear. The tips with silver all these fruit tree Oh, swear not by the moon! The inconstant moon that monthly changes in her circled orb. Lest that thy love prove likewise variable. <laughs> What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all. 
Or if thou wilt, swear by thy gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry, and I'll believe thee. My heart, dear <laughs> Well, do not swear. <laughs> Although I join thee, I have no joy of this contract tonight. It is too rash, too too unadvised, too, too like the lightning which doth cease to be ere one can say, it lightens. <laughs> A sweet good night. Or wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it. <laughs> And yet I wouldn't were to give again. <laughs> my bounty is as boundless as the sea. My love is deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. Ah. Uh, blessed, <laughs> blessed. My, uh. And I'm afeard being a knight all this is but a dream. Too flattering, sweet. Three words, dear Romeo, and then a good night indeed. If that thy bent of love be honorable, thy purpose marriage, send me word tomorrow by one that I'll procure to come to thee, where and what time thou wilt perform the rite, and all my fortunes at thy foot I'll lay, and follow thee, my love, throughout the world. But if thou means not well, I do beseech thee to cease thy suit and leave me to my grief. Tomorrow I will send to the throne of my soul. A thousand times good night. A thousand times the worst. The one by light. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow shall I send to thee. At the hour of nine. I will not fail, tis twenty years till then. <sighs> Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. wife. <laughs> Death that has sucked the honey of thy breath. I have had no power yet upon thy beauty. Thou art not conquered. <laughs> Beauty's ensign head is crimson in thy lips and in thy cheeks. And that's pale flag is not advancing there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, dear Juliet. <laughs> My 
art thou yet so fair? Shall I believe that insubstantial death is amorous? And keeps the hair in dark to be his paramour? For fear of that, I will stay with thee. Never from this palace of dim and night depart. Oh, here will I set up my everlasting rest and shake the yoke of inauspicious stars from this world wearied flesh. I sulk your last. Arms take your last embrace. What's he? What's he? Lost in my true love's hand. What drunk all and left no friendly drop to help me after? I will. I will kiss thy lips happily. Some poison yet doth hang on them. Sir Warren. Thank you.